any more news? I've got one more bit bit of news. Um, yes. Tim Hutchins, you know, the creator of A Thousand Year Old Vampire, yes. has confirmed the existence of a companion book for the RPG as well as a new game that is coming out. Uh, in an email to Dicebreaker, Hutchins revealed that um, a companion volume for The Thousand-Year-Old Vampire is on its way. The creator did not provide many details about the book other than it will contain no words and no game, but could potentially feature artwork players can use in their playthroughs of the solo RPG. There will be 188, page, uh, 188 pages in the companion with a hardback design that is a match for quality to the A Thousand-Year-Old Vampire book, including color pages, foil, and metallic inks. Ooh, I think it sounds like thousand-year-old Invisible Man. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, it's probably it's probably going to be like a journaling book, I reckon. Like maybe the one goes goes with it. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, it, these are quite an interesting idea, actually. The journal or is, books, or uh, is the actual thousand-year-old vampire a journaling book as well? Anyway, um, what it, so thousand-year-old vampire for anyone who's not played it is a it's a solo journaling RPG where you play a vampire living throughout its, its thousand-year lifespan, and you basically you roll a die, uh, a couple of dies, and it gives you uh, story prompts. So it tells you kind of roughly what happens to you in this thing, and you use that to go through your character sheet and maybe cross off people you know, um, items you use. There's uh, and for each one, you're supposed to write a short paragraph about what happened to you um, and you can but you can only remember so much in yourself so what you have to do is you have to transfer these things into a journal uh, which you can lose in game in which case you lose all of that those memories uh, and it's about memory and loss and, and tragedy and, and in our case um, a centuries-long vendetta against uh, somebody we couldn't remember um, and all sorts of weird mm -hmm. uh, there was a giant statue made out of corn or something i can't remember it, we we played it on on youtube it, it went weird um but it, it, it's a tremendous game and the idea is that the, at the point that you finish it you have an actual journal a physical journal that you've written along the time and there, there have been so many lovely pictures on social media of people who've played that game and have like bought really old books and have done these beautifully handwritten journals and it's it's wonderful because you get a story but it's a story that's really personal and as just something that you have been on yourself I, I i would go as far as to say it was my favorite rpg of last year or in terms of the new rpgs that i played i, I think thousand year old yeah. vampire is tremendous so if, i'd love to play it's yeah. yeah. gonna be lovely yeah, it's going to be like a journal. Uh, the uh, Just quickly, yeah, the email also revealed a new tabletop game created by Hutchins called A Fantastic Longing for Adventure, or Young Tim Hutchins Tells You How to Live. The experimental game is an, uh, is, is an autobiographical title in which three players use their wits to discover a story about Hutchins playing Dungeons & Dragons as a teenager, which sounds so meta. Uh, during the game, players will use a series of coloured plastic sheets, red, green and blue, to reveal hidden details on the pages of the booklets, which they can use to piece together the game's story. Wow, that, is coming on, that is coming on, uh, uh, taking place on Kickstarter, I believe, uh, as part of the Kickstarter ZineQuest 3 event that they do, which ZineQuest is basically getting people to create rpg content and then they kickstart to boost those um things and advertise it for those people do you know what i'm so glad that that kind of stuff's coming back because when we were kids uh, me and my brother sent off for, with some frosty tokens to get the uh, frosty's uh, spy book and uh, it was using a common trick at the time of those spy glasses and it was that you know colored gels in little glasses but you could read secret writing and i can't remember how it how it works and stuff but we were blown away man we thought that was the coolest thing and uh, and it just disappeared like you just never see yeah. that as a device anymore like it used to be everywhere like oh yeah get your spy glasses so i'm really glad that uh, he's doing an autobiographical account of his own teenage years whilst using tricks from frosties yeah. um so and, watch this space then... that sounds really interesting I don't know, okay, <laughs> yeah. and then last uh hutchins also revealed that they are currently working on a card game called no more kings sharing artwork from one of the cards from the game's artist charles huff Players will be able to experience No More Kings with a standard deck of cards, but the game will come with its own dedicated cards for the players to use. Other details about the upcoming game are yet to be unveiled by Hutchins. And wow. Yeah, my news. He has it's been exciting. busy. Very exciting.